Good morning. We're in Quartzsite, Arizona. Hey, we are here for the 40th annual 2023 Quartzsite RV show. It's gonna be our third year here and we are super excited. We're actually doing something a little different this year. Yeah, we actually camped in the Scenic Road RV Park. We made this reservation a year ago. Yeah. The yeah. Canadians are here. There's people all over. Gosh. And you know what's really exciting? There are 800,000 RVers camped all around here in BLM land. And wow. It's oh, just, everywhere you look, as far as you can see. This is definitely the biggest without a doubt when you have 800 to a million rvers all from one spot all right. in a little town that's only 2,000 people we are doing another thing a little bit different we are doing a meetup we kind of threw out there that hey we're in quartzite and is anybody else and we got some responses from some folks that we follow on instagram and youtube and you know, like-minded people. And, and we're, we're excited about we're that. We're excited and we're gonna meet up at two o'clock today. So we're gonna bring you guys with us. We are going to go stop by. Our V-Lock is going to be at the RV show. They are the platinum sponsor for 2023. Yeah. So we're excited to meet them. It's our understanding the owners are there and we're gonna get to meet them. We had just put Hopefully. our- Hopefully, we'll see. Yeah, we just put our RV locks on the, the doors and the bay doors and we love them. Come with us. Yes, let's go check it out. The 40th annual yeah. Quartzite RV show. ready to go over this curve. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a tip. Tip number one, be patient or get here early. It opens at nine o'clock. This is opening day. We're coming in at 11 o'clock in, in the uh, morning and it's packed. And if you've seen us before, you know that every time that we've gone, it's been rained out. Yeah. Well, safe to say this time, no rain, beautiful weather. So the people are here. So not only do you have the RV show going on, you have the Tyson Well Cellarama. So that's like a flea market across the street. La Mesa RV had a like a swap meet going on. You've got the Rock and Gem Show. There are endless things to do and endless things to spend money on. So bring lots of money. Well, we're parked, probably not in the best spot, but thank God for four-wheel drive. It's completely free and so is the parking. Our first stop is Border Hookups. Summer comes, I'll be trapped. I'm taking the day slow as molasses, burning gas. There's some daylight too. Here in the world drives the world Windshields filled with endless journeys On the back roads built for me to roam I'm ready, so ready Soon I'll be living all my life The biggest difference is with the, with the skinnier one that you guys have If there was any kind of miscut on this hole and that retaining key would sit too far down, then it would kind of pinch or get caught. Uh, the other problem we had is if this just got installed too far back, then the back end of this bar might catch that retaining key. Right. That's why we moved to the, the bigger ones. But the other thing is, is we have another hitch called our two point hitch, which is a round bar style hitch. You can see how this bar is lathed or shaved. It's, right. a, it's a double lathe that actually shaves down this bar. But with the round bar on the two-point hitch, it's actually, it's not shaved, it's just press flattened. So when you press flatten it, it gets fatter on this back end. When it gets fatter on this back end, it puts a little bit more tension on that retaining key. So for all of the two-point hitches, yes, we did go to the bigger retaining key. For this Track Pro, I've used that standard retaining key that you have. I have about 70,000 miles on those retaining keys and those L brackets. It's just I haven't fun. had any problems, so we we probably have uh, probably on that. What do we got? About 25, 
26,000 yeah. miles on it. Yeah. Yeah. And the only problem we're having now is it's been cutting into here, so I didn't know if I need to get a new one of these or not. So the bar has actually been shaving it away. So, and it's going to continue to do that. Mo and and really, I I would say for a couple hundred thousand miles, it's going to be continuing to do that. That's just going to be cosmetic. I mean, if, if you guys put 250,000 miles on this hitch, we would be more than happy to send you a new L bracket right. and send you some new, probably even send you new bars. The, uh, the only but, the only problem that it causes is when I'm trying to pull it off, it kind of it catches, catches, it, yeah. catches on that lip. It's so hitting that little edge. So I'm it. trying this thing out. My buddy got is a little Teflon piece that goes over it. What do you think about that? Is that a bad deal? or? I don't want to use too much lubrication right you know the, the the teflon is kind of designed to reduce noise on friction hitch right, right. that's kind of the method but the friction is part of it though right the friction is part oh, of it, I got right? you. now with, with this hitch though you you do still have sway prevention going on up here which is not friction that's caster up there uh, and that's kind of your primary what i what the way we like to explain is you have your 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 primary sway prevention occurs in the head and then your supplemental or your secondary is, is back here. Let's say in three years you guys decide to get a bigger trailer and now instead of the thousand pound kit you need the 1300 pound kit. You don't need a whole new hitch we can just get you the heavier set of bars and you can use everything else in that hitch. But the 10,000 is it the 10,000 pound as far as you guys go? No, the Track Pro goes up to uh, 13, 13 and then the Sway Pro goes up to 20. Yeah. I needed a break. Do you see what I'm... Look at that. Ooh, it's got heat and massage. It's feeling good. Bye. I'll see you later, babe. Bye. Just pick me up in an hour. Bye. Bye. <laughs> So we're at the electric bike display. They are $6.99, you guys. That is such a great price, but it is a show price. But you have until January 29th to get down here and buy one. My brother and sister-in-law are actually thinking about it. So I think my sister-in-law is gonna give it a try. Let's check it out. We're gonna move it to one. Now if you turn that, it's gonna take off on you. Okay. Uh, your brakes are going to cut the power, so if you feel like, oh, uh, hit the brake, cut the power. Uh, you'll also notice that when you pedal, you'll feel the motor kick out too. Okay. So you don't have to use that. Is there pedaling in that thing? Okay. Uh, any other questions? I would, I would. We're going to have you keep it to uh, five miles an hour or thereabouts. Okay. So, uh, She's going to be hooked. You got to go again. It. She needs a higher seat. Yeah. You look good, honey. <laughs> We told you guys we were doing a meetup and it's been fantastic. So we've met B and David from Hoosiers on the Loose. Hi. Woo. And they are on the loose at the RV show. And then we've got Christina and David over here, RV Live Change. And uh, they are fantastic. We've been following them on Instagram and YouTube, but we're, we're excited to meet them. And then we've got family and friends back here. We've got some old friends that showed up that we raised our kids together. So this has been fantastic. Great place to, to meet new friends and old friends. And then, oh, yeah, back there. We'll get more. we got George and Chris. We'll get more with them in a minute. She just want you want her to pedal around once. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Easy. My brother and sister in law just bought, bought two of them. She's got this. to 
you in Quartzsite at the RV show. Yesterday was fantastic. Had a great time. We really did. And um, we're back for more. See what we can find and see what we can do this time. The plan is we're going to go by RV Lock. We're going to check it out. We're going to meet the owner. Actually, we met him yesterday. Very nice, very nice uh, family man and family company, family owned company. Got to meet his daughter. And we're going to go back and hopefully get a little interview. And then we're going to go check out some rigs today. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. This place is crazy. Lots of people. Lots of people still on day two, but it is the weekend, so we came Opening at one o'clock. Still busy. Still took forever to find a spot. Lots of dogs too. Kimmy King. And if you guys can remember from last year, we shared that she had taken over in the Quartzite RV show. The 40th annual is this year, and this is Kimmy King, and she's putting on the show and killing it, taking it over. Hi, I'm Kimmy. <laughs> uh, I'm Kimmy King, and I run the event with my husband, and uh, this is the 40th annual Quartzite Sports Vacation and RV show, and I became the owner officially about two years ago after my dad, Kenny King, passed away, who founded this place with his partner Mal Mallory who is no longer with us over 40 years ago um, and uh, I came in the company about 2013 uh, 2014 was my first show and I had no idea what I was getting myself into I uh, looked at my dad and I said you know I have a degree in criminal law and I don't want to go back to school and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it originally I wanted to be the uh, uh, next uh, Olivia Benson from SVU from uh, Law and Order but that that took a lot of work and I didn't want to do that so I asked her if I could come in for a couple days to uh, check the office out and eight or nine years later it's something wow. that I enjoyed and I don't know a ton about RVing um, but I learn every day by Absolutely. being in an industry so Absolutely. And, yeah and this is a sports vacation RV show I mean it's in all-encompassing so so many things yes. so much to put it together when do you have to start do you start is it like Santa you know do you get one day off and then you have to I mean I can <laughs> <start> say <laughs> I do that but no um, it's so continuing. so the show ends uh, this so this year will end on the 29th um, we yeah. Yes. close at 3 p.m. or a little earlier on the 29th and then I take about a month to put this bet this to rest you know tie up all the loose ends make sure everything's good and then starting March 1st I start doing next year which I don't do it's kind of a slower season for the first couple months but then it's it's more I try and get into what can I bring to the show next year to make it bigger and better so this year we did the seminars we have exhibitor seminars yes. workshops things going on I'm working with a stresses camper and they have saved my my behind because I can't be in eight places at once so he's running it for me wow. um and I got a sponsor to step up to, to come in RV Life Pro to help it out and yes. and it's been a have, have a great feedback so my hope is to make that bigger and better for next year um you know we're still recuperating from the big C word that came through for Absolutely. two years that wiped everyone yeah. out so we're yeah. still kind of getting understand getting our feet back but uh but yeah I'm just constantly trying to see how I can tweak it my dad's infamous line is if it ain't broke don't fix it and my comeback was there's always room for improvements or repairs sure. so that's what i try to do i try to keep quartzite the heart of quartzite but i always want to try and shape it with the moving times you know yes. absolutely yeah. absolutely well we appreciate your time yeah, it's very of nice to meet I'm you we, got we to read so much guys. about them last year and yeah so I, my husband spotted you and actually he did law enforcement for 27 years okay so that, that criminal justice yes thing, yeah, i like, i couldn't <laughs> do the gun part of it <laughs> oh no well you're right where god wants you yeah to be, absolutely you know? and absolutely. you got a great personality oh, and you've got your it. your counterpart here your wonderful husband Ooh, how you doing <laughs> We'll get him in there. We'll get him on TV. <laughs> so, but thank you again so of much. Of course, it was such a fun Yeah. Love All right, I'm honored to uh, introduce Cade Harris from RV Lock. Now, this face has never been shown before, and I'd like to say that I'm the first one to show his face. And so, we support him. We serve, we partnered with him. We love his locks. 
and he's got a great story. So you told me yesterday about a story about when you first came here to the Quartzsite RV show. Man, it's been probably, what, 10, 15 years ago? 12 years ago, let's say 12 years ago. <clears throat> when we first came, it was our brand new first generation of locks. We tried to sell them. We sold just a few is all. People just couldn't get their mind wrapped around the whole keyless thing on an RV. Um, most people's comment was, I got a key, why do I need a remote, right? This works just fine. Um, we've, over the years, gone from selling just a few at uh, Quartzsite now to selling thousands a month, so. And now, they have revolutionized the RV industry. And now RV Lock is number one. You guys started in 2008, right? Is yeah, that, is that yeah. It? 2008, it was a bad situation and turned into a ph phenomenal situation and a blessing. Yeah, we had somebody that broke into a trailer uh, before we got started and I would love to meet that guy because he's changed my life for sure and a lot of other people's lives, so. You know, and, and that's and that's what you all need to understand. Sometimes the good Lord works in, in <laughs> strange ways. It was a blessing. And it was, ended it up was being a blessing. a blessing. So right now, you guys, this is RV lock, so this is where we're at. Come see us. Yes.
guys to come down and see us here at RV Country in Quartzsite, Arizona. My name is Justin Martin. Come ask for me and I will be more than happy to help you. And if you want the big stuff, this is the man right here. He's showing us the big stuff. All right, guys. <laughs> see you soon. Just under a million. Write the check, babe. Sell the house, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Not that easy.